Welcome back to another um, episode of the series through the Psalms. We're going to be in Psalm 6 today, and uh, we're going to be talking about a prayer. The whole psalm is a prayer for uh, to God uh, for mercy. We can go to God in prayer. Let's read what it says. <clears throat> it says, Lord, O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger. Either chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak, O Lord. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sore vexed. But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. O save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxeth old because of mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. What a prayer David prays to God. First of all, we see David, he knows that God's angry about something that he's done. He says that the Lord is angered and that he's in displeasure. He knows that God is not happy with something he did. But David always recognizes what he's done wrong. He's always confessed his sin to God. Always confessed what he's done wrong to God and wanted to make it right. It's one of the reasons why David is a man after God's own heart. Because when he knows he's done something wrong, he wants to make it right with God. He wants to get his relationship with God right every single time. And that's what God wants from every one of us. He knows we're not perfect. He knows that we do wrong, uh, wrong in our lives. And all He wants us to do is to come to Him, put it before Him, saying, Lord, I've done wrong. Lord, will You forgive me? Will You show me mercy? And say with a genuine heart for forgiveness, of forgiveness, says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. His literal physical side of himself, his physical body. He's weak. He's been through a lot. He's been through so much torment, so much struggle. And he asks God to heal him. For his bones are vexed. Even the very inside, his bones are are having problems. He's unrested. He's unwell. And even after what David's done wrong, he still asks God for healing, for strength. We should never be so displeased with ourselves that we think that there is no way that God will ever give us the strength we need because we've done so much wrong. If we come to God for genuine forgiveness and for genuine uh relationship, to build back the relationship uh, when we've done wrong, we should ask God for healing. If we're in a place uh, that we're weak and that we're struggling. It says, My soul is also sore vexed thou, but thou, O Lord, how long? His soul, soul is sore vexed. His very being himself, who he is, what he's thinking, what he's going through, emotionally, mentally, is sore and vexed. It's something that's not right. We don't know what it is. It just says his soul is vexed. There's something wrong with him. He doesn't know what it is. He doesn't feel like he's in God's will or something. I don't know what it is, but he asks God, how long? What is that supposed to mean? How long? Well, it says in the next verse, Return, O Lord, deliver my soul. 
or save me for thy mercy's sake. He literally wants to know how long God will be, how far will it be for God to return. He's really asking God to take him out, saying, Lord, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing more you can have with me. There's nothing more I can do. Lord, I'm weak, I am torn, I am, I am down. There's literally nothing else I can do. But he's still asking God for strength. He knows that there's a plan still, and his soul is not right, and he's coming to God in prayer. This prayer is an important prayer we should make. Uh, not the direct prayer, but in our low times, when we can't think anything any worse, when we think we're so deep in, in the darkest parts of our life, and we don't think that there's any way that we can be lifted out, and that we should be taken out by God, and our soul should depart from our body, and that <clears throat> God has nothing more for us to do. We should ask God for mercy, ask God for healing, ask God for strength. It says, Where in death there is no remembrance of thee, in the grave who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Literally his bed is soaking wet. Literally his couch is full of tears. He's crying so much to God. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know where to go, what to do, how to do it. And he's so vexed, so sore vexed in his soul and in his body, he cries every night. He cries. And then he gets some strength back in him. He looks at who uh, is tormenting him. He says, Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. All those that are against him, all those that want to take the relationship he has with God and break it, all the things that he's done for the country, for Israel, all the things he's done for these people, those people that want to destroy it all. Depart from him. The Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. Look at that confidence that David points out. <clears throat> the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. God heard it. God's going to do something about it. He's going, he's needing David. He wants David. He wants to use David. And the Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. The Lord knows the tough time he's in. He knows what tough time you're in. He's know, he knows what tough times I've been through too. And he's helped me out of those tough times. And he will help you with your tough times. Let all my enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let every one of the people that has gone against me, has wanted my relationship to crumble, has wanted me to stay in the deepest, darkest parts of my life, let them be ashamed. Let them go home and feel the same things I am feeling. He points that out by saying, sore, vexed. That's what he said about his soul. That's what he said about his body, his physically, his physically tormented weakness he wants them to feel that same thing he says let them return and be ashamed suddenly he knows that God could take those same individuals he knows he could take them and put them back and push them back and push them back when they return back to those their place let them instantly be ashamed let them instantly be sore vexed let them feel what I'm going through what they have put me in, Lord. Because I know you're a good God. I know you're a righteous God. And I know you're not going to allow that kind of wickedness dwell in my life and dwell in the nation of Israel. What are we getting out of this prayer from David? It's literally a prayer we can all think about when we're at that low point in our lives. <clears throat> it can be any low point. Any. We could be thinking about even the very wish of going out of this world, dying. We could think about what David went through. He actually thought of dying. He wants God to take him out right then and there. But he knows God's good. He knows God still has a reason for him being there. 
He knows God can take those people that have put him in that lowest point and push him back. He knows he has a lot more to learn. He knows that God has give has pushed him to be the best he can be. And he's rewarded by being the person that we know today as a man after God's own heart. Keep up the good faith. Keep up the good fight. Don't be, uh, when you're in that lowest point, don't give up. Don't get pushed to the ground and not want to get back up again. Think about what God has planned for you, whatever it may be, whatever it is you're maybe going through. Cancer is a big thing. A lot of people go through finances, marriages, whatever you're going through, whatever low point you're in. Think upon God. Think about what mercies He has shown you. Be thankful for the mercy He has shown you. Because you could be at a lower point than you are right now. I pray that you are having a good day. I pray that you're taking a lesson from this. That when you're in that low point, cry out to God. Pray to Him. Ask Him to push those people back that have put you in the place you're in. And uh, pray that He will heal you. He will give you strength. He will get you through the things that you're going through. May God bless you and keep you. May his face to shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you for the next episode.